Hello and welcome to SIBO Volatility 411. My name is Dan Deming and I'm a KKM Financial. Well, looking at VIX cash right around 2245, slightly higher on the session, coming off that low from last Friday of 1895 to trade higher this week, find a new range as the market's realizing a little bit more volatility this week. And I also think the market's anticipating uh, the potential impact of the data points next week and the Fed announcement. So that's why we're seeing the VIX cash moving higher this week. When you look at realized volatility, 10-day realized volatility up three vol points week over week from 19 to 22. 30-day realized volatility holding steady week over week at 25. At the money straddle in the SPX looking 30 days out, implied vol level of 20. So that's up two vol points week over week. And we move to the VIX futures. They're holding a bid today as well, particularly in the first couple of months, as again, the market is anticipating a potential reaction to some of the data points and Fed announcement next week. So we're seeing uh, the roll market narrow slightly today between December and January, a $2 positive roll there. Contango all the way out to the summer months of 2023, although it's fairly flat when we get out to the summer of 2023 when you look at the futures curve. Activity in the VIX options, uh, out of the money December puts trading today, and then out of the money calls uh, highlighted by the 47 half calls trading 7,000 times. January, what do we got? January uh, 45, 60 call spread trades 7,000 times. Then you move to February and you got February puts trading, February 25 puts and 21 puts trading actively today as well. Next week, uh, expiration for SPX, VIX expiration a week from next Wednesday. So post regular expiration. We also have CPI, uh, the Fed announcement, and retail sales. I think all those things are going to influence the vol structure as we move into expiration week for the SPX.